Welcome, my name is Misa. These are my two girls, Haley and Ayla. Misa Pignataro and her family have been eating clean and healthy foods for over eight years. And Misa is on a mission to help other families do the same. Show of hands, who has eaten sushi before? I started around my kitchen um, and my daughter actually got diagnosed with failure to thrive at one and so it got me really into nutrition and healing the body through food and I love working with families to help transition kids to a more whole foods lifestyle, kind of decrease the processed foods, um, increase the vegetables and whole foods and I know it's hard to be a parent and feed kids healthy, so I love helping families. A certified health coach and culinary nutrition expert, she uses her Mises clean cooking classes to help young kids get familiar with healthy foods. Well, most kids are picky eaters these days, <laughs> and most kids don't like vegetables, and most kids are constantly snacking on ultra-processed foods. Um, so the kids cooking classes is a great way to get kids excited about food, exposing them to real foods. We're going to make two different kinds of sushi, one with rice and one with hummus. And we're going to make rainbow sushi. She says the key to opening up those mouths to some strange and new tastes is to make it fun. Instead of saying, try this carrot, I'm saying, what do you rate this carrot? And if they want to play the game, they have to try the carrot. Um, raising salad, kids that love salad, I've got three di different dressings lined up. Um, tell me what you rate this, these three dressings and put them in order from your favorite to least favorite, and they're dipping the veggies in that, and it's a game. There's no doubt that her strategies work. I mean, it's not every day you hear elementary school students using words like these. The red pepper what do you and eat? the hummus. I usually do not eat red, this sort of thing, this. Red cabbage, cucumbers, and parsley. I love this. And our taste buds are always changing. And you might not like it now, but it's important to keep trying, and eventually you might like it. In Misa's home kitchen, she showed us how to whip up one of her family's favorite dishes. We're going to be making smoothie bowls. We like to make smoothie bowls for um, breakfast often, or a snack, or lunch. And um, with my classes, it's a fun way to um, decorate the smoothie bowl and make it fun. We'll do faces, or rainbows, or... Um, and the kids just love creating a design artwork on top of their smoothie bowl. With smoothie bowls, we like to have a protein, we like to have a healthy fat, and fiber. Back at the Vernon family farm, the sushi has been rolled and the reviews are in. Pretty yummy. He eats anything, he'll try almost anything, and my daughter likes um, carbohydrates and cheese. So um, it's nice to see her try something a little outside the box. Misa's leadership of the class was great because I felt she broke it down in the right number of steps and it was really age appropriate and still really fun and uh, enough of a challenge but not too much of a challenge that everyone could have a nice product at the end. There was bits of rice that I kept getting stuck on my finger and I just ate it off my finger. I thought it was going to be way harder than it was. Just seeing their smile on their face and uh, seeing them eat something for the first time and seeing the parents like do a little happy dance. <laughs> um, it just feels nice to know that they're hopefully going to go home and continue to expose the kids to the avocado, for example. You got to keep trying because the end goal is raising healthy eaters who love a variety of food and are adventurous and curious and um, just live a long, healthy life. <laughs>